My name is Lorraine. I'm 70 years old. I've been married for 52 years. Uh, we have two children age, they'll kill me, 51 and 49. Um, we, had, we have four grandchildren. I am retired, but I work as a facilitator and have done that for the last 12 years for a major hospital here in Los Angeles for weight loss surgery. Weight became a problem for me probably when I was about four or five years old. My weight came on because of the abuse from home. My father was physically, verbally, and sexually abusive. So I learned at an early age, I guess, to be a fighter, that putting weight on kept my father away from me. So that my weight was my protection. The abuse probably went on until I was about 14, 15 years old. Food was a comfort. It was my best friend. It never talked back to me. But at that time, it was the only thing I could turn to and not be abused. It just became a way of, of life. I was always looking for comfort because I didn't get it at home. I can remember in about fourth grade, I got up onto the scale and she goes, oh my God, she weighs 125 pounds. From that point on, the name calling started. Fat so, fatty, whatever. And of course with that, I was always the last one to be chosen to play on the baseball team or whatever we were doing because I could run, but I couldn't run real fast. You're isolated that way, you're, you're made fun of. At age nine or 10, I began the long journey of diet pills. Um, the diet pills, from what I remember, didn't speed me up like you hear people talk about, but um, I was on diet pills uh, most of my life through school going up and down with, with weight. I'd lose 20, 30 pounds, gain 35, 40 pounds. So I really got caught into that diet, diet pill syndrome, went, which went through my 20s and 30s ending up with Fin Fin. I could function normally on Fin Fin. I lost about 125 pounds with Fin Fin. When they took it off the market, I gained about 140 pounds within a year or two. I probably over a lifetime have lost 1,000 pounds with, with diet pills and probably gained uh, 1,200 pounds going off of them. I consider eating an addiction, uh, yes I do, because it was my drug of choice. I didn't know how to stop it because with food being your addiction, that is one of the only addictions that you live with that you can't totally give up. You, you have to have food in order to live. So how do you have this drug in front of you every day and not use it? but they never understood my addiction. They would say to me, if you would only learn how to control your eating habits, what's wrong with you? If, you? if you would lose weight, you would be beautiful. I just began to feel more like a failure, that a food was an addiction, but I didn't have the control over it, nor could I get help. I believe that obesity, obesity is a disease. It's like diabetes, it's like thyroid problems, um, it's like cancer. Those people can go in and normally have their diabetes put under control. They have their thyroid maintained. Cancer, they can go in and, and have surgery, and, and today a lot of people are very successful with their cancer surgeries, but they're not looked down upon for having surgery. I wake up in the morning, the first thing I would think about is what I'm gonna have for breakfast, and practically before I was out of bed, I was thinking, okay, and we're having this for lunch, and we're having this for dinner. It was in my thoughts probably 20 hours out of a day. And once I went over 300 pounds, I knew that I had signed my death certificate and that I was never gonna be able to go back and that I was gonna die. I was already fighting high blood pressure. Uh, I was on three different pills for high blood pressure and I was on medication for high cholesterol. I also had acid reflux, which I was taking medication for that and I'm just looking at all this and thinking okay when am I gonna die I also was um, stressed out from the job that I had and I called the doctor one day to ask him what I could do about the stress and his only words to me were Lorraine at the rate you're going if you don't stop it 
to smell the roses, you're going to be pushing them up. Life at 325 pounds, um, for me, I was tired all the time. My body ached, my joints hurt. I did do some low impact aerobics. That was probably one thing that kept me going at 325 pounds. I was also angry at myself for being the way I was. I was not angry with everybody else, I was angry with myself. I was at 325 pounds when I finally made the decision that weight loss surgery was the right thing for me. I had done everything else other than wiring my jaw shut. I wanted to have weight loss surgery, but I was afraid to ask my own primary doctor because he was the very one that each, each time I'd walk into his office and he would weigh me, he would say, my Lord, Lorraine, can't you exercise self-control? You've gained another five pounds. And of course, I felt like such a failure. And uh, I wouldn't ask him, but he was also my husband's doctor. And my husband went in and talked with him and asked if there was something else the rain could do. And he brought, he was the one that brought up weight loss surgery and talked to my husband about it. And he, he told him that that's what I was thinking about it, but wanted his approval that it was healthy, safe to do this.